Hey there, kids, and welcome back to James River Kids Online. We are so excited that Nathan, you're here. Nathan, have you read this? Uh, the Bible? Yes, I have read it, Jaden. I try to read it every single day. No, 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 this part. Jesus puts mud on a blind guy's eyes, and he's healed. Oh, that is amazing. I can't wait to hear more about that. Kids, stick around. We'll be right back. My goodness, that is amazing. There are all kinds of miracles. And Jaden, did you know that we can pray for miracles too? What? How? I mean, I don't have any special powers. Well, that's the thing, Jaden. You see, you don't have to have any sort of special power. It's all about the Holy Spirit. And that's our big idea for the day. The Holy Spirit gives me power to pray for miracles. Wow. I'm so glad that the Holy Spirit is our friend. This series just keeps getting better and better. You're absolutely right, Jaden. This series has been amazing. And kids, if you haven't had the chance to watch the videos from the past few weeks talking all about our new series, you're gonna wanna go back and check those out. It's been so much fun to learn how the Holy Spirit is our friend. And now I think it's time that we check out today's big idea. Here we go. Hey kids, it's Pastor Maddie and I am so excited because we are back for more of my friend, the Holy Spirit. We've been learning so many things about the Holy Spirit, like the Holy Spirit is our friend and the Holy Spirit is a gift. Plus the Holy Spirit gives us power to be bold. But this week we are learning something amazing. The Holy Spirit gives us power to pray for miracles I can't wait for you to learn all about it, and I can't wait for you to meet my friend today. Here we go, it's Myquan! Come on in, Myquan! Hey, kids! How, How you doing? doing? Pastor Maddie? Doing great, thanks for being here. Before we get started, Myquan, you just graduated. Myquan is a part of James River College. He was the speaker for his own graduation. That was incredible. That it was, was so a cool. Fun opportunity. It's time for the question box! Oh my goodness. I love questions. Question number one. What is your favorite animal? My favorite animal is the wolf because they are so cool looking. Question number two. If you had to eat the same dessert every single day, which dessert would you pick? Andy's custard. Banana and blackberry concrete. Delicious. Michael, thanks for answering those questions. Of those were fun. So now what we're <laughs> Do you see that? What is that? This is a challenge card. I challenge my client to not pick the wrong shrub. Wait, what? Don't what pick the wrong shrub. On? Kids, don't go anywhere. You're about to find out. Okay, my client, this is your challenge. It's called Don't Pick the Wrong Shrub. One of the drinks inside one of these mystery boxes is a good, delicious drink. Oh the other two drinks, not so much. Which one do you think he should choose? Be really loud so that he chooses the right one. Louder! Louder! Okay, Myquan, which one are you gonna pick first? I think the kids are really excited about this one right here in front of me. I'll go for it. Here goes. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> the with pink the, one. You're going with pink? Let's go for it. That was <laughs> great. Oh boy, here we go. Ah, How was that? That's more like it. <laughs> Just for your effort, you can keep the milkshake. Yes. <laughs> Mykwan, that was pretty funny. <laughs> You're a good sport. Okay, but Mykwan, we're actually in a series right now where we're learning a ton about the Holy Spirit. Yeah. And today we're talking specifically about how the Holy Spirit gives us power to pray for miracles. Oh, yes. I have heard so many of Mykwan's stories, but I wanted you to hear one of when God used him to pray for a miracle. So, yeah. Mykwan, tell us a cool story. I remember this one time, kids, and I was listening to God, and he told me to go to the gas station so I can share the good news 
to a guy who will be there. The Lord told me, hey, that is the guy that you're supposed to go preach the gospel to. And then I was like, hey, would you mind if I share the good news with you? And he cut me off and told me, I'm not interested. From there, I told him, have a good day, sir. And I left. And so as I was pulled up to the gas station there, the same guy pulled up to a vacuum cleaner at the same gas station that I was at. The same guy the you just saw? The same guy. Oh my Can you goodness. believe it? This has to be the Lord. And so I went up to him again and I asked him, why are you running away from the Lord? He started crying, Pastor Maddie. Then on, from that moment, I led him back to the Lord and he rededicated his life kids. What? Yes. He gave his life to Jesus gave right there? Gave his life to Jesus right there. Oh my goodness. Other cool part of the story, the same story is that as he pulled up to the same gas station, mm -hmm. his car broke down. Uh -huh. Kind of strange because it was a really nice car. So And so I just told him, by faith, why don't you start up your car and it was able to go. So not only did the Holy Spirit give you power to pray for a miracle in this guy's heart, yes. and he gave his heart to Jesus, then he gave you the power to pray for a miracle for his car. His car! And his car started working too. <laughs> That's so amazing. It's I love phenomenal. that story. <laughs> Guess what? The Holy Spirit wants to use you too. So this week, I encourage you to pray and ask the Holy Spirit for power to do miracles so that you can share the good news just like my yes, friend Mike Juan. And he will. Thanks so much for hanging out. Mike Juan, I'm so glad you're our friend. And kids, we're so glad you're our friend too. Yay. We will see you next week on more of my friend, the Holy Spirit. Woo, Bye. see ya. Wow, that was an amazing big idea and let's practice it together. So everybody stand up to your feet and let's do it like this. The Holy Spirit gives me power to pray for miracles. Ooh, that's good. I think we should practice it all together one time. Here we go. Let's do it all together. The Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit gives, gives me power, power to, to pray, pray for, for miracles. miracles. And Jaden, I think we should practice it like we're the strongest men and women in the world. So everybody get out your strongest muscles and get ready to say the big idea. Here we go. The, ah, Holy, the Holy Spirit, Spirit gives me power, power to pray for miracles. Ha <laughs> ha. That was awesome. Let's do it one more time like our favorite animals. I think I'm going to do an elephant. What are you going to do? Ooh, elephant is a good one. I'm going to try a dolphin. I've never made a dolphin sound before, but I'm going to give it my best shot. Okay. Here we go. Think we of go. your favorite animal. Now let's do it all together. Ready? <laughs> Awesome, you guys have some pretty cool animal sounds. Now everybody lean in and get ready for God's word. Hey kids, I am so excited because we get to talk more about our friend, the Holy Spirit. We've been learning so much about this amazing friendship that Jesus has for you. In fact, we first kind of hear about this in John 14, verse 16, when Jesus is talking to his disciples and he says, I'm going to ask the Father to send you the Holy Spirit who will help you and always be with you. We've learned that the Holy Spirit is a gift and gifts are always good, gifts are free. And we learned something really exciting that this gift gives you power. In Acts 1.8, it says, and you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you and you will be my witnesses, telling people everywhere about me. Boys and girls, I'm so excited to tell you one more thing that this friendship does for you. Not only does the friendship with the Holy Spirit give you power to tell people about Jesus, but it also gives you power to pray for miracles. Well, what's a miracle? Well, a miracle is something that only God can do. And we learned that when Peter received the Holy Spirit, not only was he not afraid to tell people about Jesus, but also amazing things began to happen to his life into everyone else that was filled 
with the Holy Spirit. I want to tell you two amazing stories. One of them is in Acts chapter 5, and it says that apostles were performing many miraculous signs and wonders among the people. But listen to this. This is about Peter. It says, as a result of the apostles' work, sick people were brought out into the streets on beds and mats so that Peter's shadow might fall across some of them as he went by. Kids, that's miraculous power. Well, I want to tell you another story in Acts chapter 3, and this is an amazing miracle that happened to Peter after he was filled with the Holy Spirit. You see, Peter was walking and he was going to church and they walked past a gate and they saw a person there that was begging. You see, this person had been lame or crippled in his legs since birth. He said, I don't have any silver or gold, but what I do have, I'll give you in the name of Jesus Christ, get up and walk. And then it says, Peter reached down, took him by the hand, helped him up, and it says instantly, this man's feet and ankles were healed. It says he jumped up, he stood on his feet, he began leaping and walking and praising God because this person who had never, ever walked could now walk. Kids, that's a miracle. But guess what? It's not just for Peter, that miracle is for you too. When you receive the Holy Spirit, you can pray and believe God for miracles. I have this picture right here, and I wrote the words Holy Spirit on this picture, and it's filled, it's filled with water. This is a funnel, so I wrote the word me on it because this is gonna represent me, or it could represent you. And I also have a little cup here, and we're gonna say that this is Bob, and Bob has a need. Maybe Bob, kind of like the guy in our story, has something that's wrong with his leg and he can't walk. What should you do? Well, we need to pray and we need to ask God to touch Bob. But here's what I want you guys to understand. You know, you and I are a lot like this funnel. You see, the purpose of a funnel is for things to flow through it into something else. And every single time you pray for a miracle, you're acting like this funnel. So if we're praying for Bob here, we're saying, Jesus, in your name, I pray that the Holy Spirit will flow through me and into Bob's life. And guess what? God will do that for you. And boys and girls, that's exactly what happens every time you pray. So I wanna encourage you, pray for people and believe that God's gonna use you and ask Jesus to fill you with the Holy Spirit so that he can use you to impact others. Let's pray. Jesus, I pray for all my friends. I pray that you would touch them and that you would fill them with the Holy Spirit. God, we wanna be filled with the Holy Spirit so that we can pray for and believe you for miracles. In Jesus' name, amen. Boys and girls, you are amazing. You are world changers. And I can't wait to see what God does in your life as you grow closer with your friend, the Holy Spirit. Wow, that was so amazing. I'm so thankful that we can pray for miracles. And there's one other thing I'm thankful for, and that's worship. Everybody stand up on your feet. Let's worship the Lord. Come on, hands up across this place. Sunday morning
Ashley. And we've been talking about the top seven reasons why you have to go to kids camp. Oh, let's recap. Number seven, the giant cinnamon rolls. Number six, splashdown. Number five, teams. Number four, swimming. And right now, we're gonna show you the next two reasons that you should be at camp. <laughs> just finished your first full day of camp. It has been the best day ever. There is nothing better than topping it all off with sitting around a campfire with your team, joking and telling stories. And then out come the marshmallows, the chocolate, and the graham crackers. And you get to make your very own s'more. You can roast it slowly over the fire, just waiting for that crisp golden brown with that gooey center. Or you can even put it in and wait one, two, three, whoosh! And the whole thing catches on fire. And you have this crispy black outer shell. However you like it, you get to choose. And that is why s'mores is the number three reason you should be at camp. Kids Camp is action packed. Day after day, hour after hour, and just when you think it can't get any better, we come to the last full day of Kids Camp. This day is so awesome, it has its own special name. Some of you already know what I'm talking about. It's Mud Day! And I'm not talking about just a little bit of mud. I'm talking about diving in the mud, rolling in the mud, crawling through an obstacle course in the mud, tug of war. You're gonna have mud in your hair, in your mouth, in your ears. I'm talking about totally covered in mud. I love Mud Day. And that's why Mud Day is reason number two why you need to be at kids camp. Camp is going to be amazing, so make sure you sign up today. Come back next week and find out reason number one why you want to be at Kids Camp. Kids, it has been so much fun hanging out with you today, and we want to hang out with you every week. That's absolutely right, and that's why we want you to join the James River Kids family. If you're new to James River Kids or if you haven't yet, scan this code right here to join the James River Kids family. We'll even send you this welcome pack right here as a thank you for signing up. We can't wait to get to know you and we'll see you next week on James River Kids Online. See ya!